Okay, very well. Let me go ahead and open my file. And so we can witness all of this huge uh, bounty that God has bestowed upon us today. And let's go to this file here. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, and we'll go end of this. And there it is. Okay, very good. Uh, I have this, and I, as I said, information is at our fingertips. Literally, literally, okay? The exponent of the 19th, 19th Gaussian percentile. Okay? This tells us history. The exponent of the 19th Gaussian Mersenne prime is 353. 353 is the frequency of hand name in chapter 42. 353 is the index composite 438. The structure of 438 tells history. Okay? That number tells history. Now look at this. I got this from the web, and I was worried about it because Arabic letters are written from right to left. Okay? This one has the abjad written backwards from left to right, so you can put numbers underneath, and it's easier to read for the average reader, English reader. Okay? So you don't have to write numbers from right to left. Isn't that amazing? God, God says, we made the Quran easy for you. Does anybody wish to learn? Chapter 54 is mentioned four times in that chapter. Okay. Then these are the ordinal values. This, this, this row was there already. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 28. Okay. So, and then I have the, the abject values of it, the numerical values of it. Underneath it, it goes from 1 to 1,000. Okay, so we're used to that. Now let's see. According to the ordinal values of the Arabic alphabet, the value of the word Muhammad is 38. Recall that Surah 47 has 38 verses. This is due to Rashad Khalifa a long time ago. He figured this out a long time ago. Okay? Now, 4 is the number of times the word Muhammad is mentioned in the Quran. So 438 tells you that. Says this was revealed through Muhammad, and his name is mentioned four times. Okay. Now, 438 composite is 538, and 538 non chen prime is 9127. What does it tell you again? Okay, Muhammad said 9 has 127 verses. The guy whose name was mentioned four times in the world. Now the argument comes in. One could argue that the word Muhammad has been mentioned five times in the Quran. Because you have to count the name of Surah 47, which is Muhammad. Right? We'll do that. Number 538 is the answer to the above question. Remember 438 composite is 538. Even if you count it five times, it still tells you it's Muhammad. It was Muhammad. Whom this message was revealed to. And he delivered it. Okay? In the pristine, pure way that God told him to do, and he did it. So it means you cannot accuse him on 129. 9 129. Didn't come from him. Four thirty-eight is meaning number is two seven three seven. You immediately see something in here which is very interesting. Two plus seven is nine. Plus three is twelve. Plus seven is nineteen. So God tells us another beacon there. He says, "Look at this more carefully." So we did. The index of this, the indices of these prime factors are four, seven, and nine. 7 is the 4th prime, 17 is the 7th prime, and 23 is the ninth prime, okay? 479 is the 47th Gaussian prime and 92nd prime. Surah 47 is called Muhammad, and 92 is the numerical value of the word Muhammad. Remember the third thing that I put in here? 
you can verify it for yourself. Okay. See that here. Meme is 40. There are two two memes in word Muhammad. Okay. 40 plus 40 is 80. Okay. High is 8. Okay. And, and dull is 4. So 4 and 8 is 12. 12 and 80 is 92. You can verify it immediately. And there it is. This is the history that God reveals to you today. This is the knowledge that he has given us, and he made our eyes open to this whole thing. We could have been blind. We could have been searching for truth somewhere else. We could have turned our back to this today. But we didn't. Today we were chosen to do this. And God has blessed us with this huge blessing, this huge favor, that we are privileged today to see this. And that is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Okay. And so I cannot talk enough about this, okay? You see that 479? 479. Suppose I put 9 before 47. Okay. 47 is again Muhammad, but 9 before 47. Suppose 9 is the free agent, so I put it before that. It becomes 947. Guess what? 947 happens to be the 92nd lonely prime. Again, it goes to 92. Okay. And you see, the, the reason you do this is not, it's not by accident that 9 is the free agent and 47 is stuck together. Okay. The reason for that is the ninth month of the year is Ramadan, which is the only uh, month which is actually mentioned in the Quran, okay, Shahrul Ramadan. And that is amazing. It's the only one that is mentioned in the Quran. Okay? And that's the month that Quran was revealed. And that's exactly what God says in the Quran. And it was revealed through Muhammad. And so, if you look at it this way, 479 happens to be the 19th just regular time. If you put 9 on the other side, because 947 becomes a lonely prime, and that lonely prime index again is 92. How many different ways does God have to tell us these things before we make excuses, before we argue with these things? This is not good for our health, not good for our hereafter, which is the most important thing that could, we could ruin it. Not good for our souls. Our souls will shrink every time we do this. Every time we have doubts about this. So we have to get rid of those doubts. As I said, a lot of this stuff is in here. Okay, at your fingertips, and you can you can go ahead and and look at it yourself. And that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of the world. And that's, that's what gives us this power today and this understanding today that we are here and we are privileged to see this. And hopefully, inshallah, we learn something from this and we try to apply to our daily lives. And as I said, those other things will solve themselves. Okay. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to stop here and we'll...